Ingebrigtsen, Jakob Ingebrigtsen, the phenomenon from Norway, the youngest of the three brothers. McSwain in good form. He won that 1500 in Zagreb in 332 just two days ago at a canter, frankly. The national record he's looking for is 14 years old. It's Buster Mottrams. Remember him? 732.19 back in 2006. Kiplimo in only his second race of 2020 there in the orange. Perhaps inspired by Joshua Cheptegei, his compatriot, who set a world record in Monaco at 5,000. Uh, will certainly give a good account of himself here. The former world junior champion at cross country. He's only 19 years old, Kiplimo. But uh, world number three at 5,000 this year with a big win in Ostrava nine days ago, 12.49. Inga Britson, an astonishing talent. Bizarrely, has never broken eight minutes for 3,000 outdoors, but that, frankly, will be a formality. Holds the world junior record indoors for 1,500 metres. Remember that fabulous double at the Europeans in Berlin, over 1,500 At the age of 17, he'll be 20 on Sunday. Kripa, we've just... Uh, zoomed past there who's a very very strong Italian who's improved in leaps and bounds this year Aresi Radzin some of the uh, lesser lights Abdikar Sheikh Ali of Italy, Italy. But Jakob Ingebrigtsen it'll be fascinating to see how he copes here against athletes like McSwain because uh, well, you might think that Ingebrigtsen is a 1500 meter specialist. You've got to remember, he's run 1302 for 5,000. He's got everything in the locker. So as these 14 starters get underway, it's important that the pacemaker does get this job right. Sean Tobin of Ireland with uh, McSwain slotting in behind him. And uh, you can tell it's pretty quick, Steve, because less than 30 seconds of the clock and we're almost down to single file straight away. Yeah, through 200 there in about 30 seconds dead. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how far Tobin can actually go at the, at the required pace. And I, I'm going to read the Dante. You've spelled Inga Britson's name wrong. Yeah, you get that right. He's a big star. <laughs> anyway, you, you can't get disqualified for that. Um, but, you know, I think that's the problem here, Tim, isn't it? He's finding... I was so impressed with McSwain taking it on the other night in that 1500, you know, and he's, he's full of confidence. So it might mean that, I don't know, you know, we, we need a good race between those top three and four, because I'm, I'm just not sure that Toby can get too many laps in at the required pace. But, you know, if they get two or three in, they get a good tempo going, and then the likes of McSwain uh, wants to keep it going, then we could be up to something good. Well, McSwain in second place, he said to me this morning that he feels absolutely great, even though he raced that 1500 in... 48 hours ago and he spent much of yesterday traveling from Zagreb in Croatia through split and then they had COVID tests to contend with, spent much of the day traveling yesterday but he said he feels fine the pace is quick there's no doubt about it Swain in second place and the tiny figure of Kiplimo in orange in third I think the uh, big figure of Matt Ramsden in fourth Inga Britson in fifth place single file at the moment Tobin, it's important he goes as far as he can, holding the right tempo. Don't stay at the front if you can't hold it, because that will hold them back. We've got a great race in our hands, building up here, Steve, as well. So we hope a really fast race. And it's a good job being done here by Tobin. I think a click under two minutes there at 800. Yeah, good pace being set at the moment. He's uh, certainly right on the mark. We just would love them, or they would love him to get another couple of laps, uh, if, if, the, if he can, even, even a lap and a half at this sort of pace not letting it drop but you're right McSwain just looks he's a beautiful looking runner as well he's a lovely mover and looks nice and relaxed there just having a little look at the clock checking that all the ones he expects to be there are there his teammates are just ahead of Inga Britson 229 Tim 0.55 perfect absolutely perfect first kilometer it's quick very quick but right on schedule and they've done it smoothly that's really smart really good pace making Stewie McSwain in second place will be delighted because when he won the 1500 in Zagreb two days ago, the pacemaking was poor. After two laps, he went past the pacemaker and he banged in a 55-second third lap. That is viciously quick. He rips off his number there, his front number. But uh, his third lap was so quick, he built up a big gap in the opposition and he won comfortably in 3.32, a very quick time. But I think it was a case of what might he have done. Maybe got that Aussie record at 1,500 if the pacemaking had been better. These four beginning to get away. Inga Britson towards the back of the pack. And I'll tell you what, Matt Ramsden in fifth place beginning to suffer. Gripper has gone past him there and that's a wine red Palizia. Red wine red Palizia top. He's in fabulous form. Duplantis in the pole vault. Uh, just pauses. 
585, his first attempt. Uh, three men left in this, Duplantis, Broders and Obiena. Those three, the only three, we saw the villainy, of course, fail. So Duplantis uh, aborting that attempt. He's still got time on the clock, though, but he's taking his time to go back. Go back this <laughs> he says. Hopefully. Well, Duplantis is special. But this race is building into something pretty special as well. They go through four laps there in pretty much spot on four minutes. I'll tell you what, I think Sean Tobin's going to start setting personal best pretty soon. From the front there, McSwain looks to almost be holding back. Kiplimo in second, Inga Britson in third. Kripa hanging on to this quartet as uh, Tobin moves aside now. He's done a fabulous job. But so uh, Inga Britson, well, his season includes that fabulous European record of 1500 in Monaco just a month or so ago. He also set a European record for 2000 in Oslo back in early June of 450. He's got the uh, full cupboard, if you, so to speak, as three, these three, the big three, now get away. I thought Ramden might stay with them a little bit longer. Tim, this is going to be quick. <laughs> Let's see how uh, high Duplantis can get here. 585, the bar set out. Whoa! Completely missing it there. Shake of the head. Got that all wrong. Thankfully, came down on the mat. I was going to say, Tim, this is quick. Watch them going through 2,000 metres here. It's going to be right on the five minute mark. And let's assume they're going to go quick on the last kilometre because they must do with three men there. Inga Britson is still looking fairly comfortable. Looks like he wants to get closer to McSwain. Hats off, as you said, to Tobin. He's set this up beautifully. We are in for a cracking race here. It's going to be fast. Just over two laps to run then. Inga Britson looking very relaxed. He's had not only Tobin, but other men in front of him as pacemakers for some five laps and more now as McSwain glances up at the big screen. He can see what's going on behind him there. Two laps to run at 59.83. He's gradually cranking it up, trying to turn the screw on the men behind him, who he knows are fabulously quick at 5,000, who he knows have great speed. Inga Britson has astonishing speed endurance. Ryan Gregson, the Australian record holder at 1500, ran 335 on Tuesday. Maybe he's feeling the effects of that one more than McSwain. But these three, with a lap and a half to run, battling it out, you can throw a blanket over them. Inga Britson, it's his second place. It's the highest place he's been yet. Ignore that caption, it's missing off McSwain, but uh, he's there. He's at the front where he's always been. Inga Britson now deciding he wants to be a little bit closer. Just feels Kip Limo might be a little tired as they're coming round, it'll be the bell this time. These three are set up for, all three of them are going to be rewarded with uh, brilliant times, but who's going to come out on top here? How low can they go on this last lap? This is going to be incredibly quick because Inga Britson's off and Kip Limo follows. Inga Britson running tactically supremely, 60.4, that penultimate lap, now he gets to the front. And Stewie McSwain has got to hang on to their coattails because that Australian record may be beckoning. Inga Britson still looks so relaxed with that slightly forward lean of his powerful legs above a slim torso, and he just winds it up, and he never really looks like he's hit the throttle absolutely flat out. He just begins to imperceptibly accelerate, lengthens the stride, 200 to run, 6.59 there. They're going to go under 7.30 here, surely, as Kripper shows that he's been feeling the pace there back in fourth place. He goes through, he's still going to run a great time, but let's see the race up front as Inga Brixen hits the home straight with just Kip Limo on his shoulder. Who's going to get there? McSwain there has got a hold on left to pick with that Aussie record, but Kip Limo battling towards the line, and he's going to get there. He's got the greatest strength. He's young too. They're both 19. What a race. 7.26.64. Boy, oh boy, one of the quickest times in history meeting record well it was 746 by Jack Buckner an old mucker of Steve and I back in 1984 that's been taken to the cleaners what a run and it's not often Steve you see Inga Britson outstrength by another 19 year old down the home straight what an astonishing run and that I think will be very close to the European record it's the eighth fastest time in history only 30 men in history have gone under 730 and only two Europeans amongst them a national record for Inga Britson, of course. But uh, 7.27.05 for Inga Britson behind Kip Limo's astonishing run at McSwain. Well, he smashes that Aussie record, 7.28.02.